this is how your 360 contact hour basic level invention technology is going to run. Uh, you have uh, three modules, module one, module two, and three. Okay, on one, you have six weeks to finish module one, and then on that, on week one, you have to do introduction to invention technology. Okay, and then you do patent, trademark, copyright, procedures, law and regulatory studies. You know, professional ethics. And then you do basic business management. Then week two, you will do basic computer skills. And then you do skilled mill prospection practicum one. Then week three, you do behavioral neurosquimetry metric studies. Then you do skill mill two and basic invention techniques. Then week four, you do basic prospective uh, studies, find out and design techniques. Then you do uh, skill mill invention practicum and also symposium. Then week five, you do project works on week one courses. You have to do project works on day week one courses. Then week six, you do scale mill four and invention techniques. Then you do your exams. Now, uh, in your exams, what is required of you in your exams is to pass the exam and then with one invention or prospective idea in your hand, okay? And then it's going to take you six weeks to finish module one. And then it's going to run for uh, 120 contact hours. Then uh, module two, uh, that's week seven. You have information technology and auto card. Then you have scale mill prospect, uh, prospection five. Then on week eight, you do prospective design. Then scale mill prospection six. On week nine, you do invention marketing. Scale mill prospection seven. Then week ten, you do workshops on patent laws, procedures, and filings. Then you do scale mail prospection eight. Then uh, on week um, 11, you do workshop as well, applied information technology, then AutoCAD. Uh, you know what AutoCAD is, you know, uh, to use computer to design, you know, you, the concept that are. Uh, so these two are very important. You have to know how to design with your hand, how to draw with your hand, your ideas, and then you also have to have the computer aided uh, 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 designing uh, software, how to use it. Okay? And then, then week 12, you do field works symposium. You do field works symposium on week uh, tw uh, 12 on applied business management, scale mail practicum and then your exams. You know, week six, I mean week seven to week twelve will also run for uh, 120 uh, contact hours. That's for six weeks. Then same thing with this, you have to pass the exam and then you need a, a, an invention in your hand or an idea, innovative idea in your hand in order to be uh, uh, successful or the uh, time that you have passed it. The invention that you have here, you cannot, it cannot be credited in this course. So every module has its own requirement. You have to pass the exam and have at least one invention or an idea in your hand. Okay? Then module two, uh, three, you have the practical. On module three, you have practical. That it will run from week 13 to uh, week uh, 
17, no, to week 18, okay? So on week 13, you do on general, on ideas, how to get your ideas, you know, you do prospection on ideas and concepts. Then week 14, you do uh, prospection of health products, health design, and delivery system. Week 15, you do prospection on household products, etc. Week 16, you do prospection on automotives, etc. Week 17, you do prospection on industrial appliances, etc. Then week 18, you do prospection on environmental and then general uh, 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 needs. Okay? That's uh, environmental and general prospection. Then after that, you do your exam. So uh, this model three will also take you uh, 120 credit hours. Uh, another six weeks. So in all, you know, you uh, you have 360 contact hours to finish uh, module one to six. Uh, that's uh, each each model will take you six weeks. But then one good thing in it is that on each one you should be able to you know innovate something. As soon as you finish this, you know you become a certified inventor. But uh, an ordinary certified inventor, okay? Then, uh, then if you need, you know, to go further, you have to do the uh, advanced uh, uh, certification uh, course, okay, on this. Then after that, uh, then you can pro proceed to the college level uh, invention technology. But um, and on ordinary level, you have you know, the ordinary level and the advanced level, but the ordinary level, are uh, each module that, uh, 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 that you finish should be able to give you uh, uh, something in your hand as an inventor, okay? So, basic level uh, cost, uh, you know, uh, that is required uh, 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 for invention technology is all what you see here. So, you have, uh, you know, invention technology, uh, is a branch of uh, neuroscrimetry and neuroscrimetry is a branch of uh, behavioral neuroendocrinology and neuro behavioral neuroendocrinology is a branch of applied neuroscience. So uh, uh, as we go further now, uh, uh, if you can do one thing, write down all these though uh, uh, they are in the papers that you have, but it's better you also write them down you know, and then we can now go. So today we are studying on uh, invention, uh, an introduction to invention technology. But I'll give you uh, two minutes to uh, do your writing.